Howdy folks, this is Al. You want to know the best thing about a new mod pack? Is getting all this stuff done and getting stuff ready and getting things going. You know, the worst thing about a new mod pack is you do all this work without recording it. It's, yeah. yeah, sorry. Well, let's go take a look around. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun. I do have a slime island and um, I actually went looking for a village first, but this one happened to have a slime island, and this one had been a little ransacked, and there was some stuff missing, but it had a smeltery, and that was enough for me. Um, but I wanted the slime island because of the king slimes, and if you happen to see in my earlier video, I have a king slime longsword from a king slime that I killed with a stone hatchet. Yes, cowering in, in a hole when you only killed one, so it counts. So, uh, I had come in to this village and I'm looking to make it my own um, this is going to be I set this up just basically as a gridded out area these uh, also keep anything from spawning out here but I set it up so that I can put a water tank here from agrocraft I can also do a railcraft tank but I, I, it's sad but I like the look of the agrocraft tank better and even though I think mechanically the railcraft tank is uh, is more uh, suited or, or or better people like it so I'm gonna put it here it's gonna be about six uh, six or eight blocks high um, I started making a fence out of birch trees I don't know okay so a lot of people put when they do their their tree farms they put a tree and then they put like five and put another tree and five and put another tree well, you don't have to do that with the vanilla trees maybe the jungle wood and things like that but um birch and oak yeah put them in a line baby and they just make a whole line so I was using these to just to, to provide wood um, for all the things that I had to do and such um, and then I just I don't know I put them all in a row here and then I put some over there because and then it it turned into a big thing so now I have a giant birch wood wall on one side of my property but yeah it's all right um, I did put in a coke oven now the neat thing, quote unquote neat, um, about, let me go, look it, look it, look it, there we go, um, about the infinity pack, is let's look at a bucket, ooh, it takes iron plates, not iron ingots, that's a pain, let me tell you, that's a pain, I love it, but it's a pain for sure, the uh, plates are made out of ingots, but you have to have a forge hammer, okay, not a big deal, forge hammer, okay, I got all these, but I have to have treated sticks, which comes from treated wood planks, which you make using creosote. Let me see a bottle. I use a bottle. That's what I use. So planks surrounding a bottle. Ooh. So the, one of the first things you have to build is this Hyon Coke oven. So yeah, I'm not actually using it at the moment. Um, I don't have any use for the creosote yet, but I'm sure, I'm sure I will. Um, some cactus that I've got growing just so I can have greens to make clay for deco craft. Yeah, deco craft. See my scarecrow? Yeah, deco craft scarecrow. Wind chime. And I found a great wood sapling. Yeah. I mean, this just happened too. And I went, I, I want to put it out over here. Oh, another tree. Oh, I guess I'm just out of, out of control with trees. Plopped it down. One sapling. Bang. And now my whole center of town here is full of great wood. That's fine. That's fine. I'm sure I'll find a use for it. Um, this is the original smeltery. I did uh, jazz it up, make it, you know, I, I alified it. Let's just say I alified it. Um, I don't like smelteries that are only four across or three. You know, you start like three by three and it's really, you don't get too much. I like where I can have my controller with my lava beside it and then a couple, actually generally two basins and one uh, table set up. So, um, and then I have, you know, all my ores and everything are right here. I usually will put this over one and put a standard pattern chest or no, this over one, put a pattern chest here and then took up a couple of, of drains. And I didn't want to put a pattern chest this time, which I'm regretting because now I got my patterns all I'm just too nosy wetsies all over the place. So, um, eh, but that's okay. All right. The slime Island again gives you plenty of slime crystals, which is fantastic because you're durability for your freaking tool rods is amazing oh it's getting dark so i also have what's the stairs for well don't worry i'm going to uh, uh i'm going to encase this entire thing in kind of a blacksmith area but this one and this one is for unloading and loading full tanks of um 
uh, like this tank of molten tin. I can just dump it right back into the smelter. Or let's get one of these, and I'll show you. If I take it and put it, no. And what do I want to get out? Let's see. I want to get out my last little bit of alumite, the obsidian. I'm probably not going to. Yeah, leave the obsidian. The aluminum brass. I'm not going to use the aluminum brass until I need the aluminum brass. So, oof. and it's just going to take all the aluminum brass. And the thing I really like about it, ooh, lag server, is that it gets the nuggets out. I hate having nuggets of alamite and obsidian. Man, I would rather lose one ingot and not have that nugget. But so here we go. We got this here, and I can just take it out. Ooh, come on. And then I've got a the aluminum brass and if you ever want to put liquids in um, now I will say for like making alamite you should just in this back at least make a, a portable tank it's it's much easier in a crescent wrench and you just set it on your drain here and boop and it just empties out immediately but if you want to empty out one of the tinkers construct tanks you should have a drain you knock a block out and put it facing vertically alright so this is the drain pointing up and then you put your tank beside it. You put the drain on the tank, click it, and boop, takes everything right out. Super. And this is just here for right now. Uh, it's ugly, but I put it there so that when I break my tanks, they don't fall into the smeltery. Not that that's happened to me 19 or 20 times, but uh, it happens. Uh, well, that's what else, what else. The Great Wood Tree's got to come down. I cannot believe that happened. Of course, I can believe that happened, but. Ooh, 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 this is good. This is good. We've got um, ore berries. Uh, I don't know if there's enough light in here for everybody to see this, so I'm going to put one. Boop. Um, ore berries, copper, and aluminium, which is cool. So we got that going for us. Yeah. Uh, and of course, this is just slabs, so nothing can spawn in here. Uh -huh. Really? Because they need a lower light level so that they can uh, survive. There's a bunch of villagers in there. There's a bunch of villagers in one of those houses up there. I saved villagers for the first time ever. Yeah, uh-huh. Here's my collection of skulls and such. Meaty hoyage. Deco craft bench, which I'm going to get into really a lot of deco craft when I decide where I want to build my house. And then I've got a mine down here. Base of the mine is down there. I can actually, I'm not going to do it right now, but I can actually just jump in here. i got to take that dirt block out. I guess I don't remember putting that dirt block in there. But anyhow, I can jump in that and then, bang, I'm all the way down to where I need to be uh, at the bottom of my mine. And then just use stairs to get back up until I can get ele elevators going. Um, I thought about a powered mine cart too. I've done that before. but Not sure that I want to do it today. Or on this this pack. But anyhow, yeah. So I'm having a great time. I've, I've got a lot of work to do. I'm thinking I'm going to start on AgriCraft. Now really, if I was a professional, I would start on the tool forge, getting my you know power going and things like that, but I'm I'm not a professional. I just I'm just I play. I try to be good at it, but I really just play. I'm just here to have fun. So I'm gonna put my water tank up and then I'm going to get uh, an infinite water source to feed it and then I'm going to put some crops right here and just start getting them in agricraft, which if you don't know that one, it's a neat mod. It's not necessary for food, but it really helps for small farms and food production. You can have one plant that's giving you five drops at a time or more. Uh, well, I'm not going to say more, but I know five. So, yeah. So that's that. Uh, what else? What else? Well, that's pretty much it right now. Mine's going well. Got a fairly good supply of supplies. Resources are going well. I got to pretty things up. Put a cover on this. I think I'm going to knock this thing down. That's a lot of work to take that down. I don't know if I have the time. Um, yeah, and then other than waiting for another King Slime to drop, um, that's pretty much it for me. Well, that's pretty much everything I got going. I'm I'm going to build. I'm probably going to build a building beside the water tank to be kind of a, a barn. I'm I've got it. I'm not positive how it's going to work, but I'm probably going to put it like here. Uh, I might just put it here connected to that one or something, but I'm going to put a big building where I can just do my barn and then um, a, a big area to do the harvest craft stuff if I can. Just, you know, it's, I love it all. And then get the deco craft kitchen going again. I love that stuff. I love the, the, the details of it all. So yeah, this is my world. Um, if you do get on the Patreon, do you hear that? Oh, he's underneath me. There's something underneath me and I can't find it. 
there's bad guys in there. But if you get on the Patreon server, I'm uh, I'm down heel. Um, I don't know who else is where. I've got a few people. There's um, a lady down here. Her name starts with a Q. K Karen, maybe? Karen? I don't remember. Uh, hey, Yorky just actually showed her place on one of his videos. So it's here. And then... I can't remember his name without saying... I think that's Nim Nim's place. And then... There's other places. But I'm just... That's, the map's not big enough. But way up there. Um... And then, hey, you know what I found? A hungry node. Yeah, I know. Every single... The guys are like, oh, you see a hungry node, let me know. I'm like, uh, yeah, you can have it. Jiso, I think, is the guy that uh, ended up asking for it. I'm like, yeah, it's right here. Come get it. Because it's over there destroying everything. And there I am gallivanting around and almost fly into it. Um, and did I say fly? Oh. Eh, yeah, baby. Hang gliders. I don't understand why everybody doesn't use a hang glider. That is the most fun thing that I've I think I've ever done. Giant mountain. I'm probably gonna go claim all that entire mountain just so I can build a, a castle up in the sky. But you know, I just built a castle right there on the sky. Put a spawner on that and just live off the the earnings of my blue slime uh, empire. So yeah, having a lot of fun. Um, if you do feel like joining a Patreon server, this is a good one. Hey Gorky's a good guy. This is a really busy server. Um, busier than, than most I've ever been on. This has got generally about eight or nine people on it until my evening time um, in the Eastern time zone because a lot of people are uh, from the UK, I would assume, uh, like Hey Yorkie is. So they kind of disappear after yeah, eight or nine my time and then just the server drops down to just a few people. So it's great. I'm enjoying it. $5 a month, I think, for the Patreon, so it's not free, but... Still, it's good, and honestly, for as much as Hey Yorkie has done for me for Thumbcraft and Batania, yeah, it's worth it. And uh, yeah, okay, but uh, that's that's my my sales pitch for the day. Anyhow, hope you're having a good time, enjoying what you're doing, and we'll see you again once I get uh, a few more things done here in the village. Abu bye.